hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be showing you real quick how i do the pop off method um a lot of you have been asking me so i just thought i'd give you guys a short uh video for this so the first thing i'm going to do um you don't want to do anything whatsoever to your nail plate the only thing i did was just prep my cuticles they were a little bit rough and thick so i went ahead and trimmed some off um, but right after, I'm just going to be applying cuticle uh, oil all around the cuticles as well as the nail plate. Um, you want to hydrate that nail plate as much as you can with the oil because the oil is going to be the barrier between um, any of your either acrylic gels or anything adhering to your nail plate. Okay, so we're doing the complete opposite um, that you would normally do. If you're prepping nails which is hydrate dehydrating the nail plate in this case we're just hydrating it um, I use the no wipe matte top coat because it gives the illusion that the nail bed is prepped um, I used to use this one here the shine and it used to be leave the nail bed super shiny and I would get a whole bunch of comments and question as to why is the nail bed so shiny aren't you supposed to uh, you know hydrate dehydrate it aren't you supposed to have it a chalky look and i didn't want to mislead people and so i figured you know what um not everyone knows that i am a nail content provider um they think that every video i post is like an educational video um and so i don't want to mislead anybody and so I try to just create this illusion that, you know, I did prep my nails um, just so that people won't be, again, misled. We're going to get started. So again, here's my natural shine. And what I do is apply the matte top coat. Now, you got to remember, gel top coats are a chemical. So when they do cure in the LED light, there are going to be some who do produce more heat than others. In my case, my gel top coats do produce heat. However, I do suggest that you use it on a low light setting. If you do that, then it will gradually heat up and it won't burn you. Now, if you go straight into a regular mode, it's going to, like your nail bed is going to be on fire and you don't want that because it's, I mean, some of us can, you know, hold it for a few seconds, but you know, you don't want to hurt yourself or burn yourself in the process or feel uncomfortable. So again my gel polish my matte top coat will give a burning sensation if you put it directly under um regular light instead of the low light so what i do is i apply this one layer of the matte top coat to all the nails okay I try to get as close to the cuticle as possible and making sure that the sides are capped as well because wherever this matte top touches, that is what's going to be peeled off. So, let's do the thumb. Now, I didn't prep my nail plate, but I did prep my cuticles. They were a little bit thick and I went ahead and removed the excess. And so that's why they look very clean. And I did clean my nail plate underneath, but I didn't do anything to the nail plate on top. So here's the first layer of matte top coat. So I'm gonna turn the lights back on. And this is how the matte turns out to look once I pull it out of the lamp. So let me go ahead and just grab one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do one and then you just do the exact same thing to the rest. So I'm going to apply number three. Now, you see those corners, how they pop off, pop out a little bit? I'm not a fan of that because especially that we're not using nail glue or anything like that, or we're not prepping the nail bed how we're supposed to those tips those corners are going to be sticking out so what i normally do is i just get um, my cuticle cutters or a little scissors and i like to just take out those little corners as so kind of like that so again we're going to get rid of that point 
and then may apply it. It's not going to be sticking out as much and you can see um, it's still sidewall to sidewall. So let's go ahead and just apply this middle finger since I already have the tip for it. Okay, and then what I like to do is turn the tip around as if I was applying a regular nail glue. You don't want too much, you don't want to drown it either, okay? And then let's say you don't have a lamp or anybody to help you with, um, because you're gonna have to put this in, it's not glue, right? So it has to cure with a light. So if you don't have a light that you could just put your finger under and it activates, then what I suggest you do, is take any of your regular lamp that has the bottom comes out, turn your lamp upside up or upside down, however you wanna say it. And then <clears throat> make sure that you first have your nail glue aligned as so, and then just start curing it upside down Kind of tilt your finger a little bit and it is the lights are going to be hitting it so and then you just finish curing it that's just a method that um i used to do when i didn't have like these other little lamps that helped me out right now they're all dead so that's why i'm just using this method but make sure that it's dry and once it's on there, you want to go ahead and just do it the regular way and then go ahead and turn it around. As long as you get that first at least 5 to 10 seconds um, to cure, then you're good. So this is how it looks. Okay. Now she's good. She's there for, she's going to rock with you for a little bit. You know, like some filing, if you have to do some filing. Um, let see. So she's on there really good, um, especially if you are able to do it correctly, then you know, you could get away with some um, nice filing, drilling, and whatever you have to do in order to achieve your design. And then towards the end, you just go ahead and peel them off and they pop right out and um, no damages to the nails whatsoever. Um, I wait a few days later again, if I'm gonna try any other design, and every time I check my nails and the, and the shine comes through, um, your natural oils take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours for it to surface back to the nail plate. That is why I wait around such time because you want your natural oils to surface again. And you want it, it's going to start creating um, the protective shine layer that your nail plate needs, right? So that's why i always say you know don't do more than one set that same day because then you are going to start damaging your nails if your nail plate is super dehydrated and you're just ripping and ripping eventually it's going to stop popping off because there's no oils there um at all so it's not going to help you so again this is exactly what you want to do with all five fingernails and i'm actually going to be doing a design so I'm going to come back later. The design is going to be a different video, but I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it pops out, okay? I hope you enjoy this. Any questions, concerns, leave them down in the comment. Like I said, I am trying to be more active here on YouTube. I'm trying to have my platform grow. It's been long overdue, um, but I'm very thoroughly enjoying um, you guys and um, all the love, all the support, so it is very well appreciated. So I was going to stop the video at this point, but then I realized I am going to be making a design, so I might as well just show you guys how I prepped the rest of the hand.
just another quick tip you guys you see that bubble right there now you want to make sure that you don't leave any bubbles behind um, I learned very quick as I completed the nail design and everything I'm actually here just editing this video um, that one ring finger nail did pop off uh, prematurely when I was I was filing so hard guys like I forgot <laughs> that I you know didn't have my nails prepped I'm going in so hard filing e-filing buffing and then it came off and then when I came back to this video to edit it for you guys I realized that bubble was there and so it wasn't a strong structure it created a weak a weak point okay so make sure that you don't have any bubbles guys as i'm watching the video all over again while i'm editing it i did want to mention you don't have to use matte top coat that is just my preference um and it's what i have at my disposal um i know a lot of nail artists they do use the rubber base coat it is much thicker and because it is meant to be applied to your nail bed i believe that it doesn't produce such a high heat um don't quote me i do have rubber base around um I just haven't gotten around to playing with it maybe i'll like it even more who knows but for now this has just been working well for me um but you can find different ways different methods um to this pop off method okay i don't want you guys to just think that this is the only way of doing it um this is what's just working for me at the moment you, who knows uh two weeks might pass or a month and you will watch me doing it a whole different way okay so just wanted you guys to keep in mind okay So here I'm just showing you guys a little test of how sturdy they are. Um, once you complete it correctly, yeah, you should have a lot to play with before they start becoming loose. So moving forward, you're going to see that I'm going to be capping the nails with a very um, thin, clear acrylic. Um, that's for many reasons. Let's say that we are providing an actual service to a client. We do want to protect the nail bed from any pigment staining. So let's say you're going to use like a, a deep black, burgundy, your reds, they and, and even dark greens, they do stain the client's nail bed. The pigment is being absorbed into the nail plate. And that's why 
um, when they take off their nails, you'll, you'll see like a greenie and they'll get scared right away. And it's not that it has a greenie, it's just the nail pigments itself was absorbed um, in the client's nail bed. So we tend to do this to protect the nail bed from doing so. Um, another thing is if you do encapsulated work um, and you wanna remove the color or glitter acrylic that you used prior, you have this safe zone of a nice, thin, clear acrylic as the background. Um, therefore, it's going to help with the client not feeling a burning sensation like you don't have to file all the way to the client's nail bed potentially potentially um removing so much nail plate because again the client's nail bed will absorb the pigments that are in the acrylic okay and um, sometimes to remove that is going to consist of filing the nail plate this um, will help with that and another third reason is because I'm using this pop-off method remember I cut off those points those tips on the nail tips itself um, sometimes even with cutting them they still kind of um, pop out and so by encapsulating it with this clear I'm providing a very smooth and flush surface and it's going to make my acrylic application that much better. Now, perhaps you thought that this was going to be a much more quicker process um, because I know we tend to look out for the most uh, quickest, easiest things to do. But I do want to remind you that if you're looking into creating all this nail content, you want to protect yourself. You want to take care of yourself. You know, you don't want to rip your own nails you don't want to get them so dehydrated you don't want them to be unhealthy so even though it takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to do this prep even if it's just for a pop-off method i mean the most um nice thing you could do for yourself is to just take your time to do it the correct way Now this is where I go ahead and fix those dips with the clear. Um, if you leave those dips, they are going to make your nails very um, weak. If you keep hitting your nails, they're going to be cracking there. Normally, I don't care for this because again, I do just pop them off. But again, if we're doing a service, you want to make sure that you fix those um, dips. All right guys, so this is how it's gonna look at the end. This is the way that I prep the pop-off method. It takes time, but it's well worth it. Hey guys, so I'm back from creating the design that I told you guys I was gonna be doing. This is what I ended up doing today. Um, the video will be posted up, if not by today, tomorrow. I have a lot of editing to do. And um, I promised you guys I was gonna come right back and show you guys how easy it is to remove them okay so you want to make sure that you have your cuticle oil because once you pop these babies out you are going to be hydrating your nail plate back okay then it just comes right off okay it's just dehydrated there's that one Now, like I said, they do get stuck a little bit on the sides. That's why you want to make sure that the matte top coat or the rubber base, whatever it is that you're using, makes it all the way to the side walls, okay? Because if you apply your acrylic very well, I do tend to get very in on those side walls. And so when I'm trying to take them out, if they are stuck anywhere, it's going to be stuck on the side walls a little bit. a close-up 
of these nails. That is not my nail ripped off. That's just some um, matte top coat still there, okay? I don't want you guys thinking that these are my nails and they're breaking. Not at all. Make sure you grab your cuticle oil and just hydrate that nail plate. Now this is going to help with your natural oils um, surfacing as well. Okay, and we're just gonna rub it. And you're good. Thank you once again for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Just wanted to squeeze this last video. This was approximately five to six hours later. You can see that the shine is starting to come through.